Happening right now, massive search efforts underway in New Orleans as crews are trying to find a worker trapped in the debris of that collapsed hotel. Nearly 100 workers ran for their lives as the frame of the Hard Rock Hotel came crashing down Saturday, leaving dozens injured and at least two people dead. Searchers are moving slowly as the site is still unstable. Tonight, a local family shares how they were just moments away from tragedy. NBC 15's Rachel Wilkerson joins us now with their story. Rachel. The Cam and Andrea and Orange Beach family says they were just four and a half minutes away from possibly being crushed. We both just sat there with chills and just, I, I mean, that's probably the closest I think that I've ever realized that I could have lost my life. I and mean, we were on the right hand lane uh, closest to the building where it crashed. Cindy Ross is thankful to be alive tonight. She says an unexpected detour on her way to her car possibly saved her and her husband. You know, if we would have done our normal routine and gone right to our car, it po we possibly could have been right in the middle of it when it collapsed because it, the time frame, it, it was literally four and a half, five minutes. Cindy was headed to this parking garage when the Hard Rock Hotel came crashing down. She's safe, but her car is still trapped inside tonight because the building is unstable. It just makes you appreciate and, and just realize and, and be grateful that we weren't one of the ones injured. Cindy describes the scene as chaotic, dust flying in the air and people running away. Everything's a mess. I mean, all the transportation uh, because everything uh, fell right around the um, trolleys as well. So, it, I mean, you know, they were just, everything's roped off. Cindy says getting back to her home in Orange Beach was a struggle. Because there was no rental cars we had. There was no hotel rooms for that night. So we were trying to get a rental car out, but you could see the crane just, tilted. I mean, it, and, it, and it was leaning a little bit more. It seemed like every minute it was leaning a little bit more. So it's still a real, really scary situation for those guys. We're very fortunate. She says there's no destined time when they will be able to go back and get their car. She's just thankful to be here. Kim.